Okay. With that mission out of the way, let's see about continuing on with a few more missions here because we got Link needs some more training. Link gets more hearts by doing this, a moss covered goddess. We'll take care of that. Link needs more hearts. <laughs> like he needs any more, apparently, at this point, folks. <laughs> um And we got the outpost defenders. This would be something that we could deal with two characters at lower levels. I think we need to get Mifa back into some training. I wish to keep everyone safe. And we'll get, um... You know what? The Zoras can tackle, can tackle this mission. And let's see, oh wow. Uh, let's see about getting a Zidon's weapon a little bit upgraded too. Because we need Mifa and Zidon's weapon need to be upgraded very much so. Because they're very low on levels. So, let's see, Battle Pacific Material drop up by 6%? Yes, please! There we go. And then a Sidon's level 1 weapon. We'll upgrade this bad boy. That's level 34 power, and it's still doing the work. So, again, Sidon has basically one of the better attack, attack streams of all time. <laughs> Alright. Alright, alright, the Zora duo. Let's, uh, let's, out, let's defend some outposts. And we're out of stuff for the moment. So movement speed is going to be a bonus here. So movement speed and faster speeds to boot. Let's go. Let's save the world. One outpost at a time. Let's go. All right. Let's defend some outposts. Let's go, Mifa. You need to level up. <laughs> so this mission is basically defend the outpost at all, at all costs and hope for the best that nothing get captured. Don't let the town outpost fall. So you need to make sure both characters are going to be fighting along, basically separate from each other. Uh, it's probably best to go after the wizard robe as soon as you can so you have charges available to you if you don't have any right now at the moment. And Mipha just needs this for her leveling up technically. There we go. That Moblin's down. He can't handle that, can he? Nope. Hey, you. Do you have ice? No, I don't have ice yet. Dang it. And freeze. Let's go. Sace is down. Because Mipha needs all the help she can get here. Let's go. Defensive outpost. Oh, I got my bombs ready. Booyah. Oh, there we go. There's a new mechanic that haven't shown up yet. Um, your apples can be enhanced mid uh, in in uh, in mid uh, mid battle. What happens is is that uh, if you're attacked and you have your apples out, then um, your apples get to become cooked apples, which now they'll do more healing uh, right off the bat. So yeah, kind of nice to say that that's a kind of nice uh, it's a risk uh, reward type of thing. Like you risk getting hurt with fire. But at that point is that you now have the ability to have better healing items with your cooked apples. A cooking element in a, in a, in a Hyrule Warriors game? Yep. It's uh, off the cuff, but it does work. Hey guys, how about you light the guys on fire? <laughs> fire for the win! <laughs> That's a cooked mobbin later with some boundless optimism! There we go. So you want to basically take down the strong enemies. The enemies with health bars above them are the things you should focus on. The minor enemies will do very little to the killing the outpost. But the big guys? Oh, these guys will do the work on you. Ooh, allies have appeared. Oh, goodness. I need to take out those whiz robes as soon as I can. Because those are just going to cause more trouble if I leave them to be. Hey, you guys. How's it going? we we'll go freeze, and now we swing around. Huzzah! Booyah! Fire Wizard is gone. I gotta take go back to Mipha. Mipha's got Moblins to take on. Oh boy. Oh boy. You got everyone. You got everything around here. 
Booyah, booyah, booyah! Go, Mipa! Why? She's a fly fish now. <laughs> no boy. There we go. Freeze them all to death. Ow. How dare you hit me? How dare you hit Mipa, the best Zora? <laughs> Come on. And now you're all gonna I'm gonna heal, and you guys are all gonna die. Booyah! Very up, oh, very good attack range. Come on, Mipa, you can do it. Again, this is also it's kind of a time. This is actually kind of a weird, like you know, time loop mission, barely. If going by current, by uh, seeing what's happening with the story and everything, this technically should be all destroyed at this point. Moblins are coming in. These are getting a lot of good weapons for them all, which is nice. Booyah! Go, Mipa! Rip him a new one! Yes! You know what's weird though? I usually don't ever see like the outpost in this game take being taken back by the enemy very often. So it's almost like do they actually even do they actually even take over the outpost eventually? Because again, they don't really spawn these types of enemies enough to justify the outpost being taken down. They usually defeat the enemy they usually defeat the mission really fast when this happens. <laughs> Come on now! Oh boy! Oh yeah, Mipha's getting the Mipha's getting the level ups now. <laughs> and uh, water! Water for everyone! That works. That blue moblin's gone. A Hinox has appeared! Oh no! Oh, curse of the Hinox! <laughs> That's it. Mipha's gonna heal. And uh, I gotta get this guy down. Come on now! Oh, Curtis Blue. Oh, okay. The, okay, the Blue Moblin's gone. That's good. The freeze. Yeah, Mipha's kind of hard to get out of her animation for timing. The oh, that that hurt. How about a shot to the face? Mipha's using her one weakness against the making a strength towards her. There you go. Oh boy. We oh, got. Oh no. And freeze! Booyah! This Hinox has no chance against Mipha. And rip him a new one! Oh boy, that Ice Moblin's not doing the trick anymore. Get out of here, you. We don't care for the likes of you. Freeze! I'm gonna get rid of you. I want you gone. There we go, because I can use the strong attack on on the Hinox as well. Works for me. <laughs> Whoa! These guys are gargantuan. How about how about fire in the face? There you go. Oh, Zaw! Again, we have to do this for like a long time. Like we just have to keep fighting waves of enemies until the timer runs out at this point. Oh boy. Ice? How about some ice to the face? Oh, that missed. Stand for that. We won't fail, Sidon. Not with us. On, not with you on the team. Come on now. Boundless optimism. Rip all the fire moments to shreds. Oh, now a Hinox over here has appeared. Oh my goodness, these guys are disappearing all over the place. Freeze them all. Yeah! Ice spreads, baby. I gotta get back to Beef before she's hurt too much. There we go. Oh boy! If I take out this Hinox, we should be good to go on this front. Freeze! Oh yeah! How did I get an ice charge out of that? Oh, the most of all, the ice moblin, right? I guess I had a full ice charge, so I couldn't get that there. Okay, fair enough. All right, Hinox, what are you gonna try to do? You gonna try to belly flop me? Nope. How about you freeze him? How about you freeze and die? And now we get Mipha's ultimate finish. Stab it right in the eye. It's like the only way to kill a Hinox any day is basically just get that going. Oh boy, now it's Sidon's turn. At least this area here, Sidon's got the better ability to take on fire because there's a lot of grass everywhere. Oh, you couldn't see that coming out, did ya? Let me cool you off. 
With my boundless optimism! Huzzah! Where's the other mob? Did it die? No, it's not. It's over here. Curse you! I need your fire charges. Take you on fire mob and you're out of there now. Huzzah! Let's see. Oh, he's still uh, he's still weakened. Come on, you. Oh yeah, oh no. You get flurry rushes attack. Wow, that's kind of cool. I didn't, I've never done that before. <laughs> you learn new stuff every day. And fire to the face. Fire to the face. Yeah, no cares about you. Summer selling to victory. Boundless optimism will cool you off. Oh boy. Uh, another fire charge? Another fire charge. Let's go. Booyah! Hinox is not going to know what hit him. Booyah! Oh! And Sign does his epic move. And it's basically the same as me, but with just a slight twist to it. See, the Zoras can handle it. Booyah! The royal family of the Zora tribe can win all. Defend those outposts! <laughs> Booyah! Nicely done, you two. Eva got three levels out of that. Nice! <laughs> and your Bosa gets a new weapon, too. Oh, money! Well, thank you! <laughs> We're gonna need that for later. I know that! <laughs> Well, okay. Now with that out of the way, we'll do one more training mission for uh, for this portion, and then we will do uh, the story beat for this for tonight. So let's go with. Uh, we're actually kind of low on missions, aren't we? Well, Riju gets more hearts. We'll do it that way. More hearts for everyone. But that also means that two-hand weapon bonus combo. What do you need? Oh god, I'm shocked I'm out of Bogoblin trophies. You think all the stuff I've killed, you think I would have had a lot of these things. Uh, let's see here. Through the desert? Mifa would be good on that one. But, uh, let's go Link on this one, actually. And that'll help us out with the flail enemies. With our flowing quest we got on here. So, let's go. We're gonna have, uh... We're out of heart. We're out of food again, aren't we? Yeah, we're out of money now. We're gonna definitely need those, uh, jewels to sell. Uh, let's see what we got here. Rune damage. We're gonna need those. I'm gonna do less damage from enemies. Alright, Link. Let's flail these guys to death and take on another, uh... Another, another Mulduga as well. Let's go! Let's do this! Now it's time for a Maduga! Round 2! Through the desert! We have to head for the Gerudo Town! This is kind of a weird mission in a sense. We have the monsters have been discovered! And they're right outside the base. So this is basically one of the bigger maps for the uh... For the mission, for the mission going forward on this one, we have to rescue the com captains. Well, we got to aid the group of captains. Man, they're all stuck with missions over here. Goodness me! Also, the goblins. We need those for some links with combos. So yeah, works out in the end for me. Let's go! Ow! That couldn't have been perfectly timed, even worse if it had to. Come on, you. Let's go! They're all going down. You cursed moblin! Hate you! Why don't you cool down for a bit, buddy? By basically maybe ripping you a new one! Flail you to death! Again, I'm not really satisfied with these, uh... Missions where you have to use a specific weapon... For a quest. I know that's DLC related, but still... It's kind of annoying. It's, like, it's, like, it's always like a huge... It's like those missions! You know those missions, you know, in free-to-play games and whatnot? You must kill this many enemies in order to get this upgrade, or... And if you don't, like, it's, it's like those wishes, it's like, you know those, it's like those stamina games for gotchas. Where it's like, yeah, you can do this, but as soon as you're out of stamina, you have to wait for more, you have to wait for everything else to happen. You know? Or pay money more to do it. It's like, come on. 
hate forcing people to basically to pay more for less. And I get the DLC is fine and all, but sometimes the DLC missions are kind of lame. It's like you have to use this weapon to do it, and it may be a weapon you're not basically liking. You know, this type of mission of killing particular enemies with a particular weapon was in the base game, like say you need to kill, you know, a thousand enemies with a two-handed weapon. Okay, that'd be nice, but still, it's like, I just don't like how these web missions, you have to, in order to progress, you have to get the mission that has, hey, do this. <laughs> do this with a particular weapon. A weapon you probably don't like. That was my, that was my spiel, my beef with uh, the original Hyrule Warriors in the adventure mode. Or like... Okay, not the Definitive Edition. Definitive Edition actually kind of fixed the problem I had with it. It was just like... Like, it was like Agatha's. Agatha's, like, you know, Master Quest mission up in the top left on Death Mountain. Like, she had to basically complete the quest all by herself initially. And with, a, and with her weapon class being not very high damage. And it's like... No. It's like, I don't want to play this quest because it has me playing Agatha all the time. Because again, Agatha... Athaga in the last, in the original game, was essentially my worst character. Like, it was only until after the DLC uh, initially added to the Wii U version, when, as when I was able to actually get her leveled up enough to finally, finally take on a, on that mission. Oh, that mission was horrible. I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, I can see where there's Octorox. Hey. Yeah, and I can clip. Oh, it's Maduga! Alright, time for round two of this bad boy. Now I'm not under a time limit either. Freeze? Booyah! Yeah, you went against zero, went against that bad boy. I'm gonna rip this guy to shreds. He also doesn't have a weapon to grab because Madugas don't use weapons. <laughs> well, you copy a, a miniature Maduga. Has Link's uh, flail ability. That'd be kind of sick, actually. Just have a mini Maduga take on the big one. Like, holy crap! <laughs> that'd be deadly. Oh, freeze! All right, I'll take on that. Now I'm not messing up like last time. There we go. And a swing and a miss, or swing and a hit on his eye. Now, really, with Link, this flail weapon, you should just be able to just pull the eye right out of its socket for the Maduga and just kill him one hit. <laughs> That's how this game works, right? You pull out the eyes of the character, and the thing immediately dies afterwards. And bomb to the face! Yeah! All I'm thinking right now, the Maduga boss battle theme is such a good track. Like, I liked it when in Breath of the Wild, and I haven't not fought one yet in Tears of the Kingdom yet, but still, the fact this this music track is just so good. Again, the select tracks that Breath of the Wild had and and Tears of the Kingdom has are such good tracks. I just wish there was, you know, the you know, the Hyrule Field's main theme, you know? Like from like a link to the past or turn or from Majora's Mask. Have like a remix of that throughout Hyrule Field. That would have been amazing. I just can't get it with the two games that you just get this calm this calm medel melody while just hanging around the field. I'd rather just I'd rather just, you know, jump to the whole oh man, we're gonna rip his we're gonna rip his eye out, really, aren't we? Or rip his skull out. Goodness me! Well, so much for that, Maduga. <laughs> 122 KOs. Still not enough to get that quest done. But hey, it's uh, it's it's something, right? And we got weapons to fuse with. And Revali gets a bow. High resale item. Ooh, resale item. That might be something for me later. I know we're halfway across game. You stop need to stop telling me this. All right, I think it's time we get to the story beat for tonight's session. And that's the mission down, Pat. And we now have more missions in the desert up here, which is probably daily drills. The Gerudo's daily drills finally shows up. The Mighty Throne of the Gerudo, that's a not hard one. And this one is Defend the Sands, which is a Yiga Clan one. But uh, we're going to go with the story beat for now. Which is now, Renless is a waterfall. This is going to be a tough one. It's a big, huge story mission. I'm going to take. I'm going to take Link. I think Zelda will uh, hit the sidelines on this one. Impa's good on that one. 
Um, we can get Mifa on the mix. Yeah, Mifa can be doing some some good here, and we get Daruk. Yeah, Daruk and Mifa need the love need the love they deserve. Heck, you know they're close in their region between uh between the Zora's Domain and Death Mountain, so it's only fitting that they fight alongside. And then we got their weapons kind of leveled up. Daruk could do a little bit better, but I think we're all fine here. Daruk's is a hard hitting Goron. He'll be fine. And uh, let's get some uh, Sheikah damage up. And um, that was actually going to help us. Uh, we'll start with the battle of three plus health for everybody. So. Alright, let's start this battle. Let's start with this story beat, shall we? And see if we can take back. Now, this is the mission where the uh, the Citadel was technically in Breath of the Wild. This was the last stand after the Calamity hit. But since we didn't, but since uh, Hydro soldiers didn't have divine beasts or anything to save them, this was basically where the majority of, high, of the Hylians died defending this citadel. And now we get to recap this mission, and hopefully, with the best, we can change it for the better. Let's go. I still kind of hate the design of the of the Hylian soldiers' helmets. Like, does that block in their vision at all? Man, look at all these things. Like, like, you can't see their eyes. Like, how can they see those helmets? Our chances of rescue are slim to none. And it's likely the same for all of And look at all those guardians. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, you got one down, Hyrule Guards. Two. Hyrule Guards have taken down two enemies. Compared to our millions we've taken down so far. <laughs> and Robbie's like, I think we got higher uh, chances for this. At least now that we know that Robbie and Pro actually did make it out alive after their attack on the on the ancient tech lab, so that's nice to them. See that? What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? With the help of those who had traveled from So yeah, with the help of the, of the time traveler the time traveler companions, they were able to get back the divine beasts and Able to change the tide of battle, aiding that the champions have not lost their lives. But despite the efforts, though, Hyrule is still under the Calamity, and places where they're not fully uh, saved from the Divine Beasts are kind of basically in a pickle. So yeah, when the, after uh, Hyrule Castle fell to the Calamity, the soldiers had basically evacuated to the Akadel Citadel as a final stand. But the Guardians were swarming the perimeter. Um, you actually know in Breath of the Wild, there was actually a bridge that was taken out uh, at the Akadel Citadel. This is the mission where that actually happens. Link and the Again, continuity. I like it. <laughs> For the most part, anyway. But for our first portion, we actually get to play as a Divine Beast for the first time this time, I think. So we get to play as Varuta once again. Let's go. And I'm basically now on the point that Valruta can teleport in any body of water. Here we go. Let's do this. With double champion power away. Alright, let's go. We, need to make, we have to make it to the uh, Citadel before time runs out. Hyrule soldiers need our help. And I don't care how much ground land we destroy. It means more water for the Zors, right? <laughs> the hidden, the hidden motive for the Zor people. It's just to make more water everywhere. Well, then tell, so now there's technically two paths you can take. One is harder. The Western path looks pretty of this, but it's the swiftest path to the Citadel. So yeah, there's one path that's harder, but it's faster. The other doesn't have much, doesn't have has plenty of water, which will give the advantage, and also is much easier. So you can choose whatever you want. I need enemies to ZL. Let's go this way. Left. Because we need to have the fastest, the swifter route. Let's go. This also gets some guardian parts too while we're at it. Oh, no, you don't. Take care of those Lionels. And the guardians themselves take them out as well. Yeah, we're going to be fighting a lot of guardian parts now. So this is going to be kind of killer. Yeah, those guardians are going to see the moon. Yeah, we're going to send some, we're going to send Sheikah Tech to the moon at long last. We'll tell that moon never to be red ever again. <laughs> All right, you want to fight me? Ancient power way! And that Octobot is right there like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. 
He just flying there. There we go. Take care of those guardians. Those guardians are gonna be a little pain in the backside for us. Just that one Octorok is over there. It's just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's all go up and get something to Frozen. Freeze up! Let's go! The fee is not an option. The very future of the kingdom depends on us. Right. Again, when Valrud is in water, her stuff, her special ch uh, recharge power in uh, reduces. So, so bear that in mind. Oh my goodness, there's so many bombs everywhere. Fire away! Now I'm just looking. Where's the where's the where's the train engine right now? <laughs> where's the steam train? I want the spirit train. I want that as a weapon now. Come on. And swing them up! Yeah! <laughs> they couldn't handle that one now, can they? Again, the Valrud is going to send all the Sheik attack to the moon. That'll, that'll do the trick now, won't it? Yeah, take you on! You're all going to die. I want all your parts. And break that open so we can move forward. That, was, that trunk was nowhere near where I was going at. And swing and a miss, or swing and freeze them all up. And now, special power. Let's go! You can't win. Hang in there, Varuda. One more push. Yeah. Oh, we have all a new one. At least I'm, you know, at least the other Sheikah were knowing that in order to defeat them quickly is to use their own weapons against them. <laughs> I guess they were smart enough on that one, or dumb-witted, depending on your leisure on that one. Depending on your, uh, thought process on that one. But I think that's kind of a weird downside to Sheik Attack. Like, if your enemy gets Sheik Attack, your advanced technology is basically worthless. But also, it's another double-edged sword. Because, again, you have weapons that can actually counteract their own modified versions of it. So, yeah, kind of the same. Take care, you cursed... You cursed things, you're all gonna die. Here we go, any more power? Here we go. And I just love how powerful the Divine Beast can technically be. Like, this is only like a, probably a limitation of their power. Man, if you could have something like... I mean, you know, the Divine Beasts were kind of very powerful in the beginning, but this kind of shows how powerful these things were. Man, I would love to see how these things were built in the, in the time they were actually were built, you know? Back in the Prime. The prime of the, of the Divine Beast, you know? That would have been kind of killer, actually. Link and the others should be headed for the Alakal Citadel, too. We can rendezvous there. But of course. There's still enemies on the Citadel. Let's save our friends. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's only one part of the mission. <laughs> Ooh, yeah.